Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Satisfactory. I'm over by our kind of the small coal generation power plant. It's actually been quite a few days since I've last recorded an episode. You guys know I do record in batches for lots and lots of reasons. But uh, in between recording sessions, I always go through all the comments and just try to take some notes and make sure I apply what you guys are suggesting. And one of the big, big, big questions I got or suggestions like suggestions or requests that I got was to quit cutting down all the trees. So people seem to like the trees. So I'm going to take my chainsaw here and just pitch it over the edge. So we don't have to cut any more trees. We'll keep those around since people seem to get upset if I cut them. And then the other big suggestion that we had was people were saying there's not enough power poles. So I'm working on it. I'll do this between episodes, but I'm going to try and get more power poles placed, as you can see, just so that we don't run out of connections. So that, that should last us a little bit. There's a few extra connections here, but again, I'll build that out. Maybe all the way out to that mountain will extend the platform and I'll get more power poles down. So don't worry about that. So this episode, obviously I'm joking. <laughs> I'll, I'll rip all that stuff out. And uh, I got another chainsaw waiting over here, over by the, uh, by the hub. So we'll go do that. Uh, but yeah, with the trees, I will try to take more out as we explore. It's always kind of a balance because, uh, I'll be honest, I took out a bunch of trees between episodes and then I ran into my first, um, first spider or stinger and I couldn't just run away. So I had to take them out and I ended up, you know, I didn't get to capture that on, on the recording. So my very first spider, no one gets to see it except, uh, except me. So that was kind of a bummer a little bit. I like to have that stuff captured on the recording because it's kind of fun. So that's the downside of doing it between episodes, but I'll see if I can do like a reasonable amount of tree cutting as we explore without uh, blowing down the episodes to a halt. And then the power poles, I'm probably going to go with my current approach, the way I've been doing it, just a lot of extras. <clears throat> Again, just because they're so darn easy to place. And I, I hate having to find a connection. You, you come up and it's like, oh, there's no more connections left. So now I got to undo the connection here, create another pole, reroute those two connections. It's just kind of a nuisance. It's like a pet peeve. It's not that hard, right? But it's uh, just a pet peeve. All right, let's grab our chainsaw out of here. And let's be, let's, uh, let's get that guy onto our tool belt. Body, this must, is this the gas mask or something? I'm not sure what this position is even for. All right, let's get to, uh, Brass tacks I've got a whole list of things to do. Just a, just a mountain of things to do. Uh, I guess I'll run through these real quick. Fix the merger near rotors. Somewhere over by where we're doing the rotors and those... um. Uh, where is that factory? Way out here where we're doing rotors. And I can't remember what the other part is that we're making out there. Not reinforced plates. It's... Uh, oh, I just can't remember. But somewhere, I think I noticed it when watching the videos, I think I messed up one of my mergers. So I may, if we run by there, I may just go check and see if that's still a problem. But I think one of the mergers is backwards or something. Uh, and then someone suggested the power slide. So if I run, let's see, if I run, oh, this is, I use a gamepad, like a G13 game, Logitech gamepad, they don't make them anymore. So I should map my keys. I got to find the C. Oh, there's the C right there. So if I, okay. So they suggested the power slide to get under cables. Yeah, I rarely use the C key on my gamepad, so it's a little bit unfamiliar to me. But I'll try and remember that for navigating around the pipes. Well, he slides quite a bit, or she slides quite a bit. All right, cool. And then we mentioned, let's see, I got steel for upgraded conveyors. Yeah, we want to hit the hub and get the... Upgraded logistics, so we'll do that in a minute. Then we've got someone mentioned using fences for safety. So I always fall off the edge on games like this. The other long Let's Play series I'm doing right now is Colony Survival. It's the same thing. I hang off the edge and almost invariably I fall off. So so uh, 
Here in Satisfactory, I've just made making a lot of extra room on the platform, so it's less likely to happen. Uh, but someone commented with a good suggestion to uh, just use fences for safety. So we may look into doing that. What else do I got on my list here? Uh, we got to explore the wreck near the steel production site. The new steel production site. We're probably going to head out there this episode. We'll see. Um, but yeah, there's a wreck there that we could maybe get a hard drive from if we've got the right materials. Parachutes. I took. Oh, I took down the major, uh, that ugly... Uh, <laughs> that ugly ramp. I'm not sure when I did that, but it's gone. So we can always make another one that looks better or use a ladder or something. That's another one of the suggestions is to use ladders and stairs. So we'll try and do that. But, um, but yeah, the one I was getting at was parachutes. So we should, we have that unlocked. I probably should test that out on kind of a, a, uh, safe hill and jump off and just see how that works. That could come in handy and save our bacon down the road. Then vehicles, right? I've been wanting to get vehicles because um, I actually don't mind walking too much through here. But in terms of YouTube, it gets a little tedious watching me walk all the way out to our other um, power plant, the big one way out there. It's, it's a bit of a trek. And those journeys are only going to get longer as we uh, continue to expand. So that's on the list. The other thing is I think about it, I don't know if our pale berries and our barrel nuts are going to respawn ever because I've got this like always daylight mod on. So, so far that's not been a problem. We've got plenty, plenty, plenty of berries and things because I haven't been taking too much damage, but I'm a little concerned with that. That's kind of just sitting in the background. We may turn off that always daylight mod if we start running low on uh on pale berries and things so yeah parachutes ladders and stairs vehicles yeah gotta get vehicles going i think we can unlock those in the hub then there's been several suggestions on how to upgrade belts so maybe once we unlock the level three conveyors we can uh, do that or i can try that out just upgrading in place then oh yeah a lot of good suggestions about how to place the pumps, how the pumps are supposed to be used, all that kind of stuff. Do they need to be vertical? Or are they useless if they're horizontal? I don't really know. I haven't done a lot of my own research on that. I'm probably just going to experiment with it on my own until I run into like just like a roadblock. That's what I usually do. But, um, but there were some hints on placing those by laying the pipe down first and then slapping the pump on top. And there should be some kind of indicators... Uh, someone mentioned like a silver or light blue section should show up and another person mentioned um, some other indicator, some pulsating light or something. So maybe we'll try that. And then the last thing, which we can just do right now, is I think someone pointed out that when I was last looking at the uh, awesome shop here, I had stuff in my cart and I didn't actually buy it. Okay, here, no, the cart is empty. So it looks like maybe I already... Uh, Took care of that. But while we're here, do I have the stairs? Let's see, fix it. I got 27 coupons. I don't, looks like I haven't bought the stairs. Walkways. I'm not sure what that is. Is that just like a ramp with the, with guardrails? But stairs and ladders seem to, people seem to be pretty passionate about the stairs and the ladders. Let me buy these. Stairs. All right, how do I... There we go. And while we're in here, let's see if there's anything else. How do I get back to the main... There we go. Bud lights don't care. Uh, maybe later. Don't care, don't care. Lights control panel, don't care. And these walkways and railings don't care yet. Maybe. Walls, we've got some. We're not really into doing this yet. And the more sophisticated... Um, factory buildings. I'm still trying to per perfect the layouts. Uh, I thought we bought some of this already. Conveyor wall mount. Oh, is this, what is this? Is this a, do we not have this already? Pipeline wall attachments, hypertube, hypertube wall attachments. That could come in handy. That's another thing we got to get to. 
man, there's just so much to do. It's crazy. This one we bought, right? The wall power outlet. I can definitely see using that. Pipeline, I'm not sure, I guess. I can see these things helping us be more organized. Let's just go ahead and get them in the cart. Uh, Where's the other one? Pipeline. What did I just put in? The conveyor. How about the pipeline? I'm going to hold off on the hypertube. What else we got? Foundations. Don't care. Not going to do it. This guy. Not yet. Maybe. This is just a novelty thing, it looks like. I, I did see it. I've seen this thing in action a couple times. <laughs> it looks just kind of goofy. Uh, later. And don't care. I'm not going to buy equipment. The cup's kind of cute, but maybe some other time. And this is just supplies. Don't need it. Let's go to the cart. Buy it all. While we're thinking about that, let's go check out... Let's go check out where our coupons are in terms of like how many we've got accumulated. We'll head over here and then we'll go head over to the, uh, we'll go head over to the hub. Now this thing's been humming along. We've actually got two coupon factories, I guess I should say. This one's doing the reinforced plates. Let's see how many. Take a guess. I'm going to guess, um... 1,450 tickets are waiting. How many we got? Well, nine. Close. That'll do. Just pull those into my inventory. Did that not go? Let's go. All right. And then let's go. I guess we don't need to see the other one because uh, you can reclaim. You can claim the tickets from any um, awesome sink. It doesn't. They're all kind of connected, I think. Here's the other ones up here, if I can get up here. And we're just feeding all of our extra biomass into another one right here. So this guy's not going to have any because we just claimed them all. Lots of points. We're up to the hundred thousands here for the next coupon. But this guy's just humming along and I don't know if I showed it on camera or not. But I've been just stacking up storage containers, filling them up with leaves. And then I think this, yeah, this one's the wood. And then I haven't bothered with the mycelium. So these three storage containers are just basically extra stuff I couldn't couldn't put anywhere else. The inventory's a bit sloppy right now, too. But we'll worry about that some other time. Maybe I'll clean that up between episodes. Let's get to the hub first and unlock our logistics. I think we can do it now. Oh, this is vehicles. We gotta get to this. Ew. Rotors. Modular frames. Oh man, I can't even remember if we've got a factory for those or not. But right now, let's grab these. I think we're good. Select the milestone. There goes the concrete. We've always got tons of that on hand, it seems like. I handcrafted a bunch of these steel pipes. Kind of shameful way of doing it, but I did it. I should have automated. And we will. We're going to automate the steel. Boom. Send that guy off. I always like to watch the thing take off. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. All right. Very cool. Now, I usually don't use buffers in factory games too much. Because I kind of feel that they hide problems. But I kinda, I'm starting to have a very different feeling with um, Satisfactory. Just the nature of the game seems like there's spikes in production where you need large quantities of something for just a short period of time, right? To satisfy the space elevator or the hub upgrade. So we'll probably be making use of those larger storage containers that we just unlocked. Let's see what other research we could go after. Vehicles, yes, we gotta do hyper tubes. Efficiency checker, that's a mod. Uh, we could do, let's see, they're not gonna let us do anything for three and a half minutes. I'm thinking maybe vehicles. Inventory slots, truck station, tractor. Now, I don't know if the tractor is uh, faster transport or not, or if it's mostly just used for automation. I can t I, I've been putting this off a little bit because I think it's going to take some experimentation 
again, I like to learn things on my own, but so the downside of that is it's, uh, it's a bit slower. I mean, I could watch some tutorials and everything and then just come on in and do it, but that's a little less fun. For me, anyway. Let's see. I think... Yeah, I think this is the one we're going to do. We can go look at rotors and we can look at modular frames. Man, I, I, hmm. I wonder if there's a way to tell what you're producing. I know we're not doing it over here. We got only the basics out here near the hub. And all this I want to redo. <laughs> I want to redo all of this. Um, but basically, I've been holding off redoing this. We did redo the copper production, but I've been holding off redoing this area until I feel like I've got a factory design kind of perfected the way I want. And I'm just not there yet. So with each new factory, we're going to do probably something a little bit different, a little experimentation. The copper one is close to what I want. We we're producing items and then we're We've got like a cache on hand if we just need to go grab some. And then we've also actually got an inline buffer. I think I've got those in there. And then we've got the ability to pull product out of that second storage container and route it to a new factory that, that uses those parts. So we'll see that in action um, maybe a little later on. Let's hop up here. Again, I'm going to be clumsy this episode probably a little bit because, like I said, it's been several days since I've last played. All right, let's check the MAM for upgrades and see what we can do there. This one's always kind of slow to get through. Can't do any of that. We're not... I don't know what those things are. What are these? This is staters. Requires those steel pipes, and we need to automate those. So can't do anything there. Let's move on. Caterium, I don't have enough to even make the wire. Or, I don't have enough ore. Do I have Caterium on me that I could smelt? I got a bunch of iron. I should get rid of that. That's when we were handcrafting stuff. Matter of fact, whatever. We'll do that later. Um, sort. I don't see Caterium ore. I must have chewed through that all or I have it in storage somewhere. Next, flower petals is done. Uh, Mycelia is done. Nutrients are not done. What do we got here? Nutritional mixture. What is that? I have no idea. Does it say what this is? Hmm. Can't afford it. Move on. Power slugs are done. Quartz. This is compelling. I think there is some stuff, like the map or something's down here, right? People have been telling me, I think it's the map, but I got to research quartz to get to that. I could be confused. Quartz, crystal, uh, we can make it at the craft bench or a constructor. Boy, we need a ton of those. I've got quartz on me somewhere, but I don't think I have, let's see. We need 80 more and it's five per. So I don't think I have 400 quartz laying around. So we're not going to worry about that right now. And then this sulfur. Or what is this? Gunpowder or something? Black powder? Yeah, we could do this. We could automate this and just pull some coal off of our shorter or our smaller power plant. And we've got a sulfur mine nearby. I don't know. You know, this is probably the shotgun ammo and stuff. That's something we might want to do let's see this is one and two sulfurs i've been i think i've been throwing away the sulfurs i'm just tempted to handcraft but another thing i should probably stop doing all right let me just look here in our storage bins see if i've got a bunch of sulfur laying around whoops over here Plenty of power slugs. What do I have? Uh, 150. It's not that much. What do I need again over here? Kind of dawdle in here at the start of the episode. It's two, two per, and I need 50. So I only need 100 sulfur, and I got coal on me. 
Can I make can I make that somewhere? The craft bench. Let's just try it. I got the coal on me. Let's just see. I'm gonna grab up this sulfur. I might even have more. There's another container over here. Nope, I don't see it. Let's see what it takes to make the uh, gunpowder. If it takes forever, then we won't do it. Oh, that's not bad. Let's let's do this and get that MAM upgrade. And then we'll head over back to the hub and select the new project. Now that the shuttle's back, we'll select the uh, vehicles. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to try and get away from doing this handcrafting, but uh, this one's pretty fast. Boom. That's the excuse, anyway. Let's come over here. Sulfur. Start the research. Oh, three seconds. Not bad. All right. The rifle. What? Ooh, we got some advanced stuff to produce. Heavy modular frame, circuit boards, and steel pipes. I have a f oh, here's the, uh, these anomalous things. Yeah. People are pretty passionate about me getting these as well. Um. Gotta do encased industrial beam. I have a feeling that's gonna take a bit of time. Alright. Do the hub and then think about automating the steel stuff. We're just going to select this project. Select it. Uh, boom. Steel frame, modular frames. And rotors. Hmm. Modular frames. I thought we were building those by hand and it was slow and tedious. We definitely need to automate those. That's just reinforced. Plates, I believe. But right now, I'm thinking, should we run over to the rotor plant? Plant. I did have that little to-do to fix the merger where the rotors are. But that's a long, kind of a long trip. Uh, let's head in that direction, and then we'll cut over to the steel production site. Let's make sure I have some building materials. I should have plenty... And see if we can't get started on the steel factor. I guess we'll find out what we're short of when we get there. Smart plating. That's the stuff that's over by the rotors, by the way. All right, let's run over there until we get a vehicle. I'm kind of stuck doing this. Can pick some pretty flowers on the way. Make sure my uh, rebar gun is fully loaded. Oh, I should have mentioned the trees that seem to respawn. I'm going to show you guys that. Maybe some other time. There's a bunch of trees by that smaller coal plant and around the hub that respawn for me because I've cut them down several times and they just keep coming back. Here's rotors. This is a lab that, or a factory. Sometimes I call them labs. I don't know why. This is a factory that needs some rework as well, right? Our output here is just abysmal on the rotors. So the, this could all be overclocked and sped up. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. Kind of doing its thing. And we haven't come up short on smart plating, really. We're not using much of it. At least not yet. But I'm going to come fetch some rotors and just check for a bad merger. Can't remember exactly where it is, but I thought I saw one that was put on backwards. And it was... As I recall, a merger. Yeah, look at these rotors. So slow. It won't let me grab that. Ooh, come on. There it goes. Uh, I think we've got some in here. Oh, not bad. I'm going to take them all. I'm going to take them all. Oh, I got tons of Spartan plating on me, and I think I've got a bunch sitting by the hub, so I'm not going to bother with that. So, yeah, the fact that this, this particular factory is running slow is not a huge issue. I thought that backwards merger was somewhere up here. Where would it be? We won't spend a bunch of time looking at this. Maybe this guy? OK, 
Can I tell? How can I tell? Can I tell? Yeah, there it is, right? Or no, that's fine. That's fine. I think that's fine. Okay. Yeah, clearly product's coming out. So we're good. That one's fine. I think maybe I was just confused about seeing those arrows. Here's another merger. Yeah, we would probably know. If it was oriented wrong, we wouldn't get any products. So, okay, false alarm on that front. Let's look at the top of the HUD. And did I mark off steel production site? Let's go that way. Oh man, that was close. Pick some pretty flowers. A bit of save lag there. Uh, where are you? It's this way, right? Where are you? Steel production site. Yeah, I kind of want that little dune buggy thing, but I don't know when we get that. Sure, it's either in the uh, the hub or the mam, but I'm not sure where. That seems faster. There's a little doggo. We're probably not going to mess with those for a while. My perception of these is that uh, they have some useful resources, but it's just kind of a time killer to worry about them all the time and harvest them and corral them and all that. Maybe it's not a big deal. Maybe it's worth it. But I'm not going to bother with it yet. It feels a little like a distraction. All right. Yeah, there's our ramp. We can put more in to get to that place. In fact, I might do it right here. Just to have another way across. Uh, yeah, it's been, like I said, it's been a while, so I'm going to be a little clumsy. Bear with me. All right. Escape. Sorry for that. I know that's painfully slow, but uh said I'm a little rusty. This is probably going to be a problem for me. How about one of these, maybe? Oh, man. Yeah, that looks fine. All right. Yeah, and we saw that our little coal deposit here is pure coal, which is pretty awesome. I think it's just one deposit, though. Pure coal. And I'm not sure what the output will be. We have, let's see. Man. One second. I wanted to see the miners. Oh, MK2. I was hoping we had three. Extraction is modified depending. Okay, these are, what, 60? These are 120. So, yeah, we're going to do steel production out this way. Where do we want the main factory to exist here? So, where do we want to pipe out this uh, this coal? It's bumpy terrain. We could go out over the abyss here and just have a huge platform. That might be the easiest. 
there's a power slug over there. Um, it's kind of dead space. Uh, boy. What is best? I don't know if there's a dis- I'm not crazy about that fog, but I guess maybe it'll go away as we platform over that. We're going to do... We need to bring steel over to... I'm sorry, iron over. Do we have that? Let's see where the iron is and see if that gives us any better guidance on where to put the, uh, the factory itself, right? I think we need coal and iron for the steel. Got too many beacons on my HUD. 200 meters of that away. Let's head over there and just see... Yeah, the Blade Runner upgrades, I'd like to get those as well. Let's see, where is that steel? I think we saw this. It's coming back to me. Right over here, right? These pale berries must have respawned. I know I've been through here before. Uh, where is it? It's right nearby, right? Is it right in front of me? Pretty much. There's our iron. Coal is a little bit further away. Where should we do the factory? Over the abyss? Or over land here somewhere? My only concern with doing it over the abyss is if, uh, if we eventually use the trucks and things. Yeah, I'm just wondering if there's a risk that they're going to go falling off. Maybe it's not a legitimate thing to worry about. There's the coal. Maybe just out this way, over the side. Uh, yeah. Bring the coal up this way. Get out there and huge steel factory. That is the decision. Let's do it. Let's just start building. And, and I'm going to remember how to use all my little tools. Okay. Same thing here. Hard to see from down there. Do it. Just paint a happy little foundation here. And sure, I don't find we'll ramp up to this. This needs to be fairly wide, I think. I want I don't want to be messing around too much with uh having to constantly worry about widening this. Now we could if we wanted to. Uh, let's get out of this for a second. Just think, not you. Just, just a matter of fact, I should take that chainsaw off, right? Unless we're going to use it. I'm going to keep selecting that thing and it's going to get annoying. What do I have on? Uh, rebar, slasher, and this dude. That's fine. We could platform over that coal and pipe it straight up with a vertical conveyor. People seem to be pretty... Happy with those. Um, is that worth doing? Is that worth doing? I'm gonna look a little crazy around here for a bit. Guess. Just trying to get a good vantage point to see what makes sense here. I mean, I could ramp down. I don't think I need to do that. If I extended this platform over quite a bit, 
Then we could get that coal up. Just go straight up off of the mine. Let's add some more foundations. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. I know I'm going to fall. Uh, is this going to help me to see? Not that direction. Better. Just virtually no way I'm going to avoid falling off of this. I want to try. Concrete is cheap. I waste a lot of resources. I'm not the employee of the month that fix it. Let's see how we're doing. Getting pretty good, actually. That far as uh, location. Not bad. I'm going to try to do a vertical conveyor all the way up. Now, I don't know if these are going to be hard to work with or... Uh, look at that perfect platform. The sizing on that is just... Beautiful. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure if the vertical conveyor lifts, if those are going to be a pain later on when we want to upgrade and stuff or not. So I guess we'll just learn that lesson the hard way. I'm going to actually orient it here. What am I missing? Oh, man. Oh, encased industrial beams. I can't do these. I might not even be able to do the regular miners either. Uh, we'll start with the regular ones. It's fine. But, um, bummer. What do those take? Steel, of course. Let's, uh, yeah, we're going to have to do, we're going to spend some time over here, I think. And I got to get power. You know what that means. The idea would be to conveyor that up. Let's just see if I can figure out how to do it. Conveyor lift MK2. Conveyor lift MK3. These take the beams. We're going to probably have to go with the twos just because that's what I got the most of. Ooh, I could come straight off of this guy. Does that make sense? And then how in the heck am I going to get the height correct? Or should I start it from up there? I have no idea. I'm just going to try and see what this lets me do. Encroaching on another item's clearance. Is this an appropriate way to do it? I have no idea. Look at that. Nope, it's not. You got to start. I think you can reverse the direction. Let me just place this and see. Doesn't like it. Does not like it. It's too close to the mining drill. Is that the issue? Because it's encroaching. Oh no, it's cutting through the uh, cutting through the foundation. Bummer. Uh, let's see. Let's try it the other direction. Sorry, I gotta experiment with this. I just haven't done it. Boom, and then rotate. I just, how am I supposed to know how high? Does it tell me? There might be a limit too. Or should I just max it? Uh, it's not gonna be perfect. Let's do that temporarily. Let's see what it did. Yeah, it's a little tedious, huh? Uh, a little tedious. Gotta get power out of here. Out here, I should have thought of that. Yeah, I don't know. 
there's probably some technique to get this thing uh, the right size. Well, I wonder if there's a way. Let me just see. Is there anything I can do? Maybe if I whack at it. Yay. Boy, it'd be cool if you could just change it. Oh, I wonder if there's a way. I don't see a way. I'm looking at the screen to see if there's any hints. Shortcuts. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see. I'm just looking on the on the, uh, the bottom right of the screen to see if there's any hotkeys there to tell me how to do it. I don't see. I can see destruction. I guess I could try and build it from up here. But look, I'm going to fall, right? All right, let's do... Let's just take this thing out. Not the thing I'm standing on. Let's grab... All right, from up here, if we can get this thing to snap. There's got to be some technique, right? Okay, you... Up to here. Is this how it's done? I'm going to go one high. Ooh, yeah. Good enough. Let's get power. I guess we're going to smelt. You know, smelt down there or smelt up on the platform. Uh, let's smelt up on the platform. We'll send the raw resources up. We'll have a smelting floor. And then maybe we'll go up another floor to do the turning into steel kind of stuff. That's going to be our coal. We need to get the iron over here somehow. It's going to be a little messy. This factory design is going to be a little messy at first till I can kind of get it clear in my head how I want to organize things. Here is some iron ore. This is impure. We'll see how much we need. <clears throat> A little bummed we can't do the MK2 mining drills, but it is what it is. I know I have these on my hot bar. You can just head off in this direction. Oh, what am I missing? My hand mining drills. Tell you what, <clears throat> let's end this episode here. What I'm going to do between episodes... I'm going to go get the little portable miners that I need in order to build the mining drills. And I'm going to bring power out here. And that is it. And then we'll get to mining and smelting. Hopefully steel. I got to look at the recipes and all that. But we'll do that next episode. Oh, I should probably... Just uh, before we go... Let's... Yeah, before we go, let's take this down. Just show you guys I'm here in the comments. I'm paying attention. This isn't really where you need the trees taken down. I know it's more that area by the other, the other uh, power plant. But yeah, where it's really congested, I'll try to take them down as we go. Hopefully we won't be back over there for a little while. I know I need to overclock that coal power plant. And we'll probably get a stark reminder to go do that once we hit a blackout situation. Because so we're not going to use this coal over here for power. We're going to use it all for steel. But more bridges to cross when we get to them. For now, this is GladderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Also, really thanks to everybody who's been giving the videos a thumbs up. Boy, really noticed a huge change in that. That helps the, my channel. You hear other YouTubers always ask about that. I'm trying to get into the habit of liking videos that I watch. It's easy to forget. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate that. And for now, this is GladderCat signing off saying thanks again. And I will see you in the next episode.